Next at six, new safety guidelines say toddlers should stay in a rear facing car seat until they are two years old or until they reach the maximum height and weight for their seat. And that's one year longer than previous guidelines. News 3's Margo Spann joins us with more on the new advice for parents. I don't know if that seat back can go up, but then it's going to make, you know, a passenger pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. Before eight-day-old baby Isla takes her first car ride, mom and a car seat safety installer are making sure she's strapped in securely. We want to make sure that the seatbelt or latch system is connected correctly. New recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics and the National Highway Traffic Administration say baby Isla and others should remain in a rear-facing car seat longer to keep them safe in the event of a crash. Normally it's one year and 20 pounds. Now they're going to be recommending that it's just two years to stay rear facing. Officer Kevin Olin, a car seat safety instructor with the Janesville Police Department says these new recommendations aren't required by law but could save your child's life if you get into an accident. If you turn them around at one year, a lot of times the head is a pretty heavy part of the body and that can cause some injury there just by the head flopping forward in an accident. Officer Olin also recommends getting some help to make sure your little ones are as safe as they can be. You can probably call your local fire department or local police agencies to find out if they do have car seat technicians available uh, that could come and help you or check uh, online uh, with the Child Passenger Safety Seat Organization here in Wisconsin and try and find a car seat uh, checkup site that might be located in your area. The new guidelines also recommend booster seats until kids are at least eight years old and possibly as old as 12. The key is keeping kids in booster seats until they are four feet, nine inches tall. The reason for the new guidelines is that experts say a rear facing car seat actually supports the head, neck and spine better. A poorly fitting safety belt can cause uh, spine injuries in an, in, a, in an event of a crash. There always, we go. always changing those. Tough for parents to keep Absolutely. up on what's going on there. Margo, thank you very much. Thanks, Margo.